talk to your talk to your buddies, talk to your peers, talk to your gunny. Find out that you're not the only one experiencing those problems. Peers, buddies, families, the community at large have a significant role to play, not only in the identification of these problems, but in the management and treatment. I think it's important to realize that you're not in this alone. Go, go talk to somebody. Speak with somebody. Speak with somebody who's been through it. Speak with somebody who's going through it. In my case, the treatment was meaningful uh, because it helped me realize that a lot of the things that I experienced and that I felt weren't simply, I wasn't alone. Uh, I, I don't walk up to somebody and say, hey, hey my name's Chief. I, I, sought, I sought help in the mental health system. It's not natural to do that. But when you see somebody struggling, and they give you this, well, you don't know what I'm going through, then that's when you pull out that ace and you say, yes, I do know what you're going through. For the Army and the Soldier's Creed, there's a portion called the warrior ethos. Uh, I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Okay, that last line to me is, is the most important because you can be mission driven. You can, you can always place the mission first. But if you see uh, one of your battle buddies, one of the guys to the left, you, uh, guys or girl to, to your left or to your right, that's suffering uh, or that you could tell has some type of symptom of uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, you can never leave a fallen comrade. You have to either get them help or get someone to go to them to offer them help. So just talk to your buddy. And if you, know, you feel your buddy is not helping you at all, talk to somebody else because everybody out there is in the same situation with you. That they're not alone and that they don't have to face any crisis, no matter how large or how small it is, by themselves. This is a tough world, the, uh, the military, and you need to be tough. And they come back from a deployment and don't realize, because they haven't talked about it with their buddies, that so many others are experiencing similar problems.